Each season comes with its own feeling and personality, and sometimes our mood mimics the weather. Have you noticed that? So this spring, you might be feeling the urge to chase light, to refresh your space, to refresh your mind, sort of like the trees outside. Author and speaker Connie Sokol believes that now is the time to spring clean your mind and your soul to find a new sense of purpose and peace. She is joining me with some ideas on how to do that. Always so good to see you, oh, sister. So good to see you. This season, it's mm. just an exhale, isn't it? Yes, and the sun, and ah, oh, you just feel like, okay, let's do this. And why now, Connie, to kind of do a mental inventory or an emotional declutter? Well, like you said, it just mimics the season. We feel this need to refresh, like even with the yard, like get rid of the debris and kind of clean things out, till the earth. That's how it feels in the home and in your soul. Just like, let's clear it out. Are you a spring cleaner at home? I am, yeah. when I absolutely make myself. But we just did two weeks ago. I'm telling you, I cleaned out half my closet. I want to take a picnic in there. Like I go in and I'm like, ah, oh, this is lovely. It feels so good, doesn't it? So instead of the tangibles, today you're helping us clean out the intangibles. And mm. first you say we need to be still. Yes, which is like the first miracle for any woman. Honestly, <laughs> let's be real. It's true. But when we, it's not just being quiet. It's not just sitting still. It's really this intentional clearing out of noise and stimulation and, and being intentional about it. So a couple thoughts on that. One Please. thing for women, shower time can be sacred time. Mm. So I don't know about you, but it's like in, out, get the hair done, like let's go. Right. We can make it 10 slow minutes of really being, thinking about stress, any worries, and just imagine them just going right down the drain, that cascading water yes. and letting it just wash away. We can also make it an aromatic experience, okay? Not like the soupy mess that's in the tray of the soap, but to get this aromatic, I have this lemon verbena. <gasps> I'm a soap sniffer. I just, oh, <laughs> you're like, oh, I sniff and it's so yummy. I do a drop of essential oil in the yes. corner of my shower, like oh a citrus. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's, it's lovely, isn't it? See, and then it changes it from just like bum 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 express city yeah. to ah, feeling this. I could get back out in the fray. Which is a great lesson. Like take the efficiencies of life and see yes. how you can beautify them or stillify. That's not that, a word. I but love that word. Stillness around those moments of efficiency. Exactly. That eye of the storm. And another thing we can do, I know Coach Mandy Marie talks about taking out your brain garbage. So when I was decluttering, think about that dump trailer full of stuff. We have these phrases, especially as women, that we just keep saying without even knowing. It's like on what? repeat. I am undisciplined, I'm dumb, I'm unorganized, I'm always late. And watching what those are, mm. putting them down on paper in black and white, and then challenging that. Mm. Is that true? Because honestly, most of us, we're raising a family, running a home, running a business, working at a job. No way, we're doing 52 moving parts every single day. It's just yeah. not true. So if we can challenge it, then we can say, I let go of that false belief. I release that, I drop that. And boom, you start to feel this release of this clutter that's going on in your brain all the time. All right, be still and then shred it. Yes, so this is so fun. If you wanna take it to a little bit deeper level, yeah. Speaker Lindsay V really teaches about the power and the studies that back up shred writing. So this is so fun. Shred writing? Shred writing. You take five, 10 minutes, set the timer, and then you just get a piece of paper or a little notebook, and you just start writing everything. Emotion phrases, I'm so mad at, I'm so frustrated with, whatever. It doesn't have to Do be complete Do you feel a little sentences. crazy in the moment? Kind of, kind of, but it's almost like I this think I would. scary release. Like she talks about the first time she did it, she like locked her bedroom door. Like she was doing meth or like something. Like didn't want anyone. No, like don't look at what I'm writing. This is like so scary. Maybe she was smelling soap. <laughs> We don't know what she was doing she behind was that alive. door. She was doing something. <laughs> but she's writing that out, and then boom, you get done. You ball it up. You burn it, rip it, shred it. Just okay. get rid of it. And okay. boom, it's just a lighter feel. You've done this with some of your clients, your friends? Yes, and it's amazing. It really is so freeing. And things that you wouldn't know are in there, you start yeah. excavating these layers. Okay, all right. Finally, we're going to move it. Yes. So when you realize what those things are that cluttering, get it out physically. So you could do the walk with your friends. Oh, no, that's so annoying, right? Or you could do a dance party. Okay, I have a gal that... I coach sweet thing she is a recent widow young widow with four littles man that grief is thick but she'll put on some music and she'll have her littles and they'll Aww. be going in the, she picks Aww. up her daughters and they dance party I remember back in the day it was my two sisters with my mom Monday night making spaghetti wire whisk we're belting it out to Aretha Franklin still one of my favorite memories yeah. dance party get it out so get up and move yes just move declutter. your body declutter it all comes together for this beautiful kind of refresh doesn't it yes and you just get it out and you feel like a new person Connie thank you where can we find more from you sister Connie I have my find your purpose challenge it's free get in there get refreshed for your purpose for the spring we can help you there I met a woman the other day who had taken one of your retreats 
treats and oh. was just, it was so fun to have a gush fest on oh. our friend Connie Sokol, <laughs> the sweet woman that's changing so many other women's mm, lives. Brownies so, thank later. You. You're Good. so sweet. I'll take them, but we do love you. Thank you so much. Thank we'll you. link you over to Connie's website where you can learn more about her programs, her retreats, her books, and her coaching. It's all there for you at studio5.ksl.com.